The family of the Los Angeles Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs has filed a pair of lawsuits against the team. Skaggs was found dead two years ago in his hotel room in Texas before a four game series against the Rangers. Ashley Ketz has more on the lawsuit and what the family is alleging against the team. More fallout today in the overdose of Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs. Almost two years after his death, Skaggs family is now suing for wrongful death and negligence. In addition to the Angels, the new lawsuit names former communications director Eric Kay and longtime vice president of communications Tim Mead as defendants. The 27 year old pitcher was found dead in a Texas hotel room during a team trip in 2019. Investigators later ruled Skaggs death an overdose with fentanyl as the main contributor. One of the many devastating things about fentanyl is many of those who overdose on it will never even know they took it. After a lengthy investigation last year, Texas police arrested Eric Kay, arguing he provided the counterfeit pills that Skaggs took on the night of his death. Kay pleaded not guilty and no longer works for the Angels. Back in 2019, the organization conducted its own investigation into the circumstances surrounding Skaggs' death. A spokesperson for the Angels maintains it did not know the pitcher was using opioids nor of any employee providing them to a player. Adding today's lawsuits are without merit and calling the allegations baseless and irresponsible. Ashley Ketz with that report. The former team official told investigators he had informed two members of the Angels organization of Skaggs drug use as early as 2017.